Hi, and welcome to another video of Perfume Lounge. I'm Vicky. And I'm Chester. Welcome. Um, we're going to talk about, guess what color in perfumery? Green. What are green fragrances? I would say like nature, crushed stems of flowers or plants, mm -hmm. something like that. And you? Well, yeah, the same. Freshness, I think. I guess in a sense freedom as well, because I, I like the feeling of being free when I'm surrounded by green. Uh, walks through meadows, um, fruit even. So there's lots of facets uh, in green perfumes. For me, green fragrances are not necessarily linked that much to my perception of what a perfume is. So they are not perfume-like perfumes, um, but they are challenging and there is a whole world to explore. And I'm learning as I'm going what uh, green perfumes are to you is something different than it is for me. So sometimes I feel like very dandy or uh, gentleman-like or like, oh, let's go take a hike. And then I just love to like disguise myself with a little greenness in a bottle. And this is exactly the reason why each of us is going to choose two fragrances that we like the best for us. So you're going to pick two that you like and explain us and our viewers uh, why and I'm going to do the same. So fragrance number one, the one that I chose, is Hyuge by Parfum Satori. It's a Japanese brand and the inspiration for this fragrance is a tea ceremony. So there's matcha tea in this fragrance and you can really smell that in the opening. It has like the bitter notes of matcha which is very interesting because it's almost savory mm -hmm. and we don't get that a lot in most brands that we sell here. There's also some violets and iris in the fragrance which gives it a bit of a powdery note but it's more like a texture instead of makeup powdery. So this is really a subdued um, elegant fragrance as all the fragrances mm. are of Parfum Satori. Hiyuge by Parfum Satori. So the second perfume that we have here for you is Dryads by uh, Papillon. And I love this perfume. I think it's very distinguished and uh, it's very chic at the same time. And it's very foresty. It's like mossy. It's got a little like green bitter, I would almost say like leathery facet to yeah. it. I think some of you will know uh, the beautiful legendary perfume Bandit by Robert Piquet. Well, imagine dropping that bottle in, in like a dense green forest somewhere in England. I think that's what uh, Dread smells like. It's very noble and it's got something magical to it. So that is my pick from our green collection. Papillon Stician by Pierre Guillaume. I chose this fragrance because to me it's really green. It's really this feeling of being in nature. It has a lot of galbanum in the opening, which is like the smell of the crushed stems uh, from flowers and mm -hmm. trees. I just can't stop smelling this. I, what I like about this fragrance is that it, yes, it's green and it's even bitter, but it has some, some airiness in it as well. Yeah. Like it's not like super dense. Yeah. So it's very light but still bitter and green. Yeah. It's a nice contrast. So, number four is the Soft Long by Imaginary Authors and I chose it because it's got uh, linden blossom in there and I love linden blossom. Yeah, so this has uh, linden blossom in it, vetiver, oak moss, so that gives it that nice green feeling. It's got ivy leaves and laurel and imaginary authors, they're quite cheeky because they always like make up some imaginary uh, ingredients. I mean, hence imaginary authors. So here it says fresh tennis balls. That's not something I associate with green, but I don't play tennis. I love how the oak moss makes it, uh, gives it like a, a classic, um, sophisticated vibe. And the linden blossom for me, like makes it a little bit cheerful and playful. It's rounder. Like yeah. a lot of green fragrances can be a bit bitter and these linden blossoms make it rounder while staying fresh and that is a nice combination. So imaginary authors, the soft lawn. So these were the fragrances that we discussed today, but as you can see, we have a lot more green fragrances in our collection. In the description below, you can find them all. And uh, thank you for watching and we hope to see you again. Bye. Goodbye.